Hello, everybody. I am live. I'm a little late because I had to go get something to drink. There's no way I'm going to do a 100 item haul with nothing to drink. This is not realistic. I also need some chapstick with this fan blowing in my face, drying my lips out. That might be a bust, though. Yeah, I don't have any chapstick, so my lips are just going to look dry, and that's fine with me. Why does my chat not want to show up anymore, and I'm going to have to pop it out? Like, what? Okay, there it goes. I'm just going to wait until YouTube sends out my notifications, per usual. Hi, Isis. Hi, Sandy. I have so much stuff. I really don't feel like going through all of it, but I have to. Because part of me just will not list something until I've hauled it, so it has to be done. It's just so much stuff. Did you guys get a notification? Hopefully. Thank you all. Thanks, Lorenzo. Okay, good. I was a little late because I had to get something to drink. So I was not going to do this haul. But nothing to drink. I'm on this bag. Okay. <sighs> Period, Isis. You cannot be that. I love eBay, honestly. eBay is slowly catching up with Poshmark. And I list way more on Poshmark, so I'm excited to see when they're equal. Because my eBay's at... Let me see. My Poshmark's at like 820 active. My eBay's at 610. So, I mean, if my eBay had as many as my Poshmark, I'm sure the sales would be right up there. Hi, Kiari. Hopefully, um, because it says it's only two of y'all here. If it sent out my notifications, where is Squad at? I am going to start still though, nonetheless, because I do not want to be here all night. I have a HelloFresh box, and I need my dinner. Me and my man are going to make dinner tonight. It's like chicken, chicken, penne with limon or some shit like that. Thank you, Isis. Thank you for your consistent viewership, but I need to be more consistent with my, uh, I guess I've been pretty consistent with these. The eBay store I have now is the 1000 fixed price listings, and I pay like, what, 25 bucks a month for that? It used to be 500 but then they upped it and they did that little spring upgrade or something like that. Um... But I think a thousand is my limit. Yeah, I think that is a good place to stop. Um, for eBay at least. I'm gonna go ahead and start though. I got a hundred items. I spent a hundred and twenty-seven dollars, which is good, of course. You cannot beat that. And yeah, some of these items will go to flip. Um, a lot of the Items that I was like trying to check with you guys last week on flip they acted like they were gonna accept and did not but Somebody did sign up with my link So I did want to drop it again because I do get a $25 Amazon gift card if you guys sign up with my link and win a lot and it's honestly risk-free I've sold 
a couple of lots on flip and sorry i'm just typing this and it's good easy money it's free inventory you'll get brand you'll see brands on there that you know you usually don't see in your area new with tags items that you know it's hard to get but yeah, a $25 Amazon gift card goes a long way for me and my business. I need to get another one of these shelves. They're like $180, I think, on Amazon, but they're only $100 at Home Depot. But my inventory is growing. I have like a whole overflowing bin of inventory that I can't put away because I don't have any room. So if you need inventory and want to sign up for a flip, please use my link. I would really, really appreciate it. I'm going to pin that. Yeah, the 1000 is $25. You cannot beat it. Um, and then I'm making like $700 on average right now a month on eBay, which is good money. Um, and that's me putting 10 listings up a day over there. Yeah, I would say. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, since I go to the thrift store on Sundays, and Sunday was Father's Day, there were not a lot of people there, which was very good for me, so I actually went down the dress aisle. I haven't been able to get dresses the last couple of times that I've gone because there's just been way too many people, way too many resellers, um, so it just makes sense to go to a different aisle. But, um, I have probably the most room in my dresses bin, so I figured let me go there first. This is Evan Picon, size 6, 100% cotton. Uh, it's just a nice structured dress. It does have shoulder padding, but it's all black, and then it flares out at the bottom. It's 100% cotton. I'm pretty sure that's a vintage tag. This one's vintage. It is Safe Silk by Adriana Papel. 80% silk, 20% wool, size 12. Green, long sleeve, shoulder padded, vintage. Shift dress. It does have this like brooch. I don't know if I can take that off. No, it's like really, it's really on there. Um, but it's a nice, cute silk vintage shift dress. I'll probably list it for 35. This is an express size large dress, black ribbed knit with the cutout. I'll list for 25. This is Josie Notori, and Josie Notori has a couple of different lines. Um, she sells, like, high-end lingerie. She came to Kent State when I was going there and did, like, an hour-long little thing. But, yeah, Josie Notori, extra small. Her stuff is up there in price. This is a dress. It's giving, like, BCBD, White House Black Market vibes. But it was 80 cents, so we'll see how that does. This is Loft, size large, a blue short sleeve mixed media dress. It has this velvet part, and then the rest of this is just, like, you know, a polyester. And it's a small... This is Toby, size large, new with tags. I wish that's why I need to be setting aside a pile for flip. But all of these, no, yeah, I'll sell myself. And then flip doesn't take Toby. This is Toby, size large. It's a blue cold shoulder shift dress. I'll probably list it for 30 I think this is Adriana Papel. These usually sell for like 20 to 25. Adriana Papel size 10. Silver sheath dress with this little rosette detail. It's giving very much Mother of the Bride. 
um, wedding, uh, you know, those type of teas. Um, Flip, yeah, it's a, yeah, it pretty much it's a reseller app. They have it on um, iPhones and Androids now. It was iPhone only for a while, but you can pretty much source on there. People list lots of clothing. So, like, right now, there's a 100 different lots that they just dropped. Monday through Friday at 6 p.m., they drop lots. And you just go on there and see if you like the stuff. And you can apply for the lots and give them estimates. And the person gets to decide if they uh, want to choose you to sell their items. And, yeah, I've made definitely over $100 by now selling things on Flip. I sold... A dress on eBay today for a girl for 30 bucks. It was a new attack, free people dress. And she makes 15. I make 15 because we did the 50 50. So you can also change your commission payout. I would say at least do 50 50. Unless the person has like really high end stuff, then, you know, pay them more. But at least 50 50 because Flip doesn't take into consideration the money that Poshmark takes out. So that does eat into your payout. Um, so, or the Poshmark, or the money, e the money that eBay takes out, Mercari, any of those websites, that comes out of your part of the money. Um, but yeah, I would highly recommend it. Flip, F-L-Y-P. And then, yeah, if you want to have my referral link, even better. They do take Sanctuary. This is a medium tunic top with beading and embroidery. At the top, Sanctuary sold at Nordstrom, TJ Maxx. I'm going to put that on flip. I have a lot of items to list to where I don't really need to list that, you know. This is Rose and Ali, size 8. A pink dress with this ruffle detail. Really cute. Just a basic shift dress, though. And then they do have a list of brands they accept. Um, and it's all over the place, honestly. <laughs> this is Lauren Ralph Lauren, size 8. Do I need this? Yeah, I could take this. So, like, I could send this to them. But let me revel in the fact that I actually have some dresses to list for once. This is Maggie London, size medium. This is a little blue wrap dress. Thank you, Isis. I definitely appreciate it. And yeah, it's a lot of money to be made on there because there's no limit. Like, you can apply to, and you know, you're not going to win every lot that you apply for because it's definitely competition on there. Other resellers, you know trying to get stuff to sell for their own stores, but it's just really easy. You know, you don't got to leave your house. They ship it to you. And it's just a nice little platform. Uh, these are new attack shine star. They'll probably sell for like 20, but they're little like mustard belted linen pants. Are both the okay both the hems are like that i thought the one hem was destroyed um they do have a a raw hem though they're cute though it's supposed to be like that i just thought only one of them was like that and i was gonna be salty what is this oh this is hail bob i did pay up for this and hail bob can get up there in price I don't know if the real real takes them. Let me see because this might be, I'm supposed to have a pickup next Monday. And my box is not that big. I made, you get paid every 15th with the real real. And my paycheck this month from them was like 208. So if I could get more than that, that would be nice. You feel me? Hail Bob is not on their list though. Okay, so she's not up there. She is not up there with the girls. Let me see if she has some items though on their website because sometimes they the item won't be on their brand list, but they'll have some items listed. Yeah, they have a bunch of items listed for Hail Bob. And you literally just gotta ask 
the person who uh your your agent my girl her name is lauren she lives in cleveland and yeah i will throw that or i'll put it over here for now but that's gonna go to the real world these are made well. I paid up for these. My thrift store wanted 20. Yellow was half off, so I got them down to 10. And then I get a 20% off college discount. So I paid eight bucks for them. And the soles are pretty good. They are the made well nine inch high rise skinny in a size 31. A 31 is like a large, like a 12 to 14. So yeah, I think that is a, a pretty good investment. Eight bucks for some black jeans. These are new at Tag Gap. I got these for myself, actually. Yeah. I paid three bucks for them, $3.20. And they are a. I didn't know if that opened or not. Hi, Ciro. They are a blue, like, tencel. Um, elastic waist pants. So I need to try these on. And yeah, three bucks for pants. Can't beat it. Out of the pants that I got last week, the only ones I kept were the blue Levi's. The rest of them, no ma'am. Uh, this is unique low. These are some blue, new with tag. Just skinny jeans, 80 cents. I'm going to see if Flip will take those. This is Soft Surroundings. was really happy to find this for $0.80. Cents. And it is a medium. I'm pretty sure this is a tunic. But I'll have to. Yeah, it's a tunic. Long sleeve v-neck tunic. And I love Soft Surroundings. Their stuff is nice. You know, that's what I feel like I'll be lounging in once I get a little bit older. That and Eileen Fisher, you feel me? Okay, so that's the end of bag one. I have 100 items. We'll see how this goes. But thank you all for the two thumbs ups. I really do appreciate that. Um, the A in Athleta and the T have fallen off. These are H Leta. Size small. They were 80 cents, though. And finding Athleta for 80 cents at my thrift store doesn't happen, which is why you guys don't see me whole Athleta a lot. Uh, but maybe that's because they didn't know what it, what brand it was. <laughs> There's some nice, cute little leggings, though. These are Ann Taylor Devon Fit, size 6. Some cropped gray pants nice for like the office they're a thicker like medium weight another soft surroundings uh this one doesn't have the tag at the top let me see if it's on the care tag if there is a care tag damn did they cut it out they did okay i'll have to um compare measurements to another <laughs> soft surroundings listing but this is a off the shoulder blue this is called iCat this print if I'm not mistaken what is this oh, it's a fucking bleach spot or something well I paid four bucks for this we'll see how it sells it has a fucking bleach spot in the front uh, it's cute look that's the bottom it has a ladder trim yeah, and I paid up for that. It's fine. These are American Eagle, 80 cents. Flip does take American Eagle, so uh, it tends to sit for me. I'm okay with letting somebody else sell that. This is the next bag. It's so heavy. I haven't listed anything yet today. I need to, though. I have a big pile that's photographed. I did photograph items today, and I did my shipping, which took me like 45 minutes, which is a good problem to have. Uh, this is Old Navy size 4, new at Tags, Q 
cute little hounds too. They're black, white, and pink. These are really cute. I would keep these if they were my size. I think these are Talbots. They're thick like some Talbots. No, Ann Taylor Curvy Fit size 6. Just some black pants. Nothing to write home about. There was hella not your daughter's jeans. Um, I think somebody donated like their whole collection. I got a lot. I think I got like four pairs of the same pant because I mean they do sell good for me that brand, but it's like I can just make one listing. Uh these are a size 10 though, and they just have this button attached. They are just the trouser. A black ponty knit trouser. The ones I got were jeans. I think I got three or four pairs, if I'm not mistaken. These are J. Crew Mercantile. Mercantile was just a line. They tried for a couple of months and then they went back to regular J. Crew. Size four. Green pants. Let me see what year they did that. It was just like a, like a hot second because I remember the articles that came out about it. Because it's like, what did y'all do that for? 2018. You should film on Monday, ship with me, and post it later in the week, like Wednesday. I thought about going live, doing my shipping, even if it was on, like, Instagram or something. Do you, all of you guys follow me on Instagram? Because that would be, um, I think about doing other videos and, um, posting them. Is it J. Crew Factor? I thought they just like um they had like changed it for a second. Mm -mm -mm. Look, because I don't have to know. Um, but I'd be thinking about doing other videos. It's just having to sit down and edit and upload and do all of that is just not what I honestly have time for. Um, here are the five differences that make J. Crew Mercantile different from J. Crew and J. Crew Factory. Also, I guess it was a whole separate thing. Mm. They're saying that the quality, look, I'm reading this whole article though. They said it's more like J. Crew Factory, but it has a few things the factory chain doesn't. Girl, like, if y'all don't, and that's why it failed, like, why don't y'all sit down and really focus on why J. Crew and J. Crew Factory ain't doing what you wanted to do instead of creating a third thing? You feel me? These are BDG size 30. I love a good BDG pant. BDG is carried at Urban Outfitters. And I will be listing those. Hello, my good sis Lindsay. How are you doing? I hope everybody is having a good Monday. I did not say that. And that y'all had a good weekend. If you do a Monday live, ship with me, then do a live Wednesday for your haul. Yeah, because usually I don't have the items packed by then. But it's just I go live at 6 on Mondays and my thrift store closes at 5. So I'd have to go live 2 hours earlier. I have to go live at 4 instead of 6. Um, which could work in my benefit. I know some people have told me that they're not available at this time slot. But I'm sure there are people here today who are not available at the 4 p.m. time slot. Uh, this is Bandolino, size 4, new with tags. I don't know if Flip takes those, but they're new with tags. I'll sell them. Another pair of BDGs, of black skinny jeans, twig high rise, size 26. Urban Outfitters, and they're distressed. Y'all, we're making Hello Fresh for dinner, and I cannot wait. That's all I'm thinking about. Because that's just so, that's, <laughs> that's what I'm doing as soon as I get off of here and starting dinner. Uh, these are American Eagle. And they are from 2011. 
<laughs> they're jegging. What is the size? I think, I, I believe there are 10. These are going to go to Flip. When I was talking about Flip, uh, my link is pinned. I get a $25 Amazon gift card, which would really help me a lot, um, you know, instead of actually donating directly. Uh, so if you sign up, please think about clicking the pinned link at the top. Uh, and it's it's really risk-free. It's an app for resellers. And you could get you some free inventory. But I really need a new inventory shelf. And that's what um, those gift cards are going to. I have one so far. So thank you to the one person. These are rayon. I don't... That's not really relevant. These are rayon... <laughs> size 16 houndstooth belted plant pants i got these for myself um they're new attack vintage if they don't fit me i'll just list them they went on clearance for 43 dollars but they're cute i love a high-waisted wide leg pant i feel like i grab i try to grab like four or five pairs of pants every week because i know not all of them are gonna fit me and I never buy anything I can't resell. That's literally, even if I buy something for full price, if I can't resell it and get my money back, I'm not buying it. Thank you, Isis. I miss making videos, honestly, but it's just like, I need more money. You feel me? So it's like, I need to put that money toward that time towards listing. I'm sure that was a firework. Uh, listing, cross listing, doing things like that. My bookkeeping, I'm behind on that. Uh, this skirt is really cute. I'm pretty sure it's just like a Shein or Wish. Yeah, there's no RN number, but it's just a cute printed pencil skirt for 80 cents. And there's no brand. The inside tag says extra large. Um, I'll compare it to other pencil skirts I have. But the print was just so cute. I know I can make money on that. It doesn't have to have a brand. Um, oh, yeah. Dead stock. Yeah. New tags. Dead stock. This is um, not your daughter's jean size 10. I told y'all I got a lot of them. These are a linen lyocell blend. A nice comfy pant. All the Notre Daughters jeans will get listed for like $25 to $30. These are Talbot size 8. Heritage straight leg jeans. These are Notre Daughters jeans 6 petite. Black. Straight leg. What are these? The Amanda. Or no, I think that might be Gloria Vanderbilt. It does have the style in here, though. I think I got another pair of these, though. Yeah. These are another pair of six petites. So those will get a two quantity listing. Banana Republic, size six Sloan's. Gray. These are Thalia Sodi, size large leggings. I'm going to see if Flip will take those. And these are a Zara Basic, size 2, pink, little straight leg pant. I'm so hungry, don't make no damn sense. Uh, these are T for Talbots. They're a little athletic brand, size medium. Nice little swishy, swooshy pants. Think uh, Zenergy by Chico's. These are Eva Longoria pants, size 4. I don't know if this was carried somewhere or if she actually had her own line. Is this a current line? I don't know. I'm about to look it up. Eva Longoria jeans. Oh. 
or at Walmart. Shit. Well, uh, we'll see if Flip wants them. If not, I'll list them for 22. I mean, there's still some nice black jeans, you know. Uh, I think these are Adrian Vitadini. No, these are Carolina Bell Montreal. See, look, that's what I thought too, Lindsay, but that's my good sis, Eva Mendes. Because I seen them and I was like, unless she did like an actual separate line, because usually it'll say like for New York and company. These are Carolina Bell Montreal. And I feel like every time I look them up, I can never get like a a definitive answer about their pricing. Okay, so they're a boutique. Let me see what it's hitting for. But I think I'm gonna... I don't have anything listed by them right now. I do have a top, though. I took a photo of it today, but it's not listed. I don't want to enter my email address. I don't want to spin your wheel. How much are your bottoms? They're cheap. Okay, 20 bucks for some distressed leggings. 30 bucks for some pants. Okay, they're cheap. We will see if they're giving TJ Maxx. We'll see if Flip wants those as well. The pants, they remind me of the Adrian Vitadini pants I keep finding. Real cute little polka dotted Amanda and Chelsea. They sell uh, that brand at Nordstrom. Size 8. Little circle skirt. That is the second bag. Ooh, we're 31 minutes in. Like, thank, thank you, Lindsay, because that's exactly what Carolina Bell was giving TJ Maxx. Hopefully, Flip takes her. Oh my goodness, so much stuff. Oh, this dress is so cute, y'all. I wish it was my size because the way I would wear this, oh, um, it's pure and simple, a way of life. And I think um, that is uh, Walmart. I don't even care because this dress is so cute. You feel me? Uh... Amazon is popping up, but not close. eBay. Pure and simple clothing. What is this dress? Dress going for 18 bucks on eBay. This is so cute. It's a linen rayon blend. Ah, so cute. Square neck. Cute little spaghetti strap. Sleeveless. Sheet plaid. Little mini dress. It's so cute. It's a size, uh, not my big ass size. It's a size 10. It's so cute. So cute. I've worn makeup like the last three days and I keep finding like clumps of mascara stuck in my eyelashes. I do not miss that. Uh, this is Ashish in Sony. The tag is just giving up. Oh, okay. So she did a line for HSN and for her own website that launched in 2017. Okay, that's much better than Walmart. So, you know, a lot better than Walmart. I wasn't trying to give the girls, um, what's that one Walmart brand? Tara Sky. Uh, this tag, though, just looks expensive. Ashish and Shoni. So I looked at that up and anthropology popped up. Cute little anthropology dress for five bucks. Sleeveless with the pleated, uh, it has like a peplum. Really cute. I believe this is Zara. I don't have much to send to flip. Look, I need to stop being greedy. Zara size small. Jacquard cap sleeve sheath dress. Uh, this is a BCBG size medium cap sleeve dress with a low back. 
I'll give that to um, Flip because BCBG sits for me anyways. This is Daniel Rain or DR2 extra small long sleeve dress. They don't take him or I would. Uh, a new day, so that's new attacks target floral short sleeve shift dress. And this is Calvin Klein, size 10, sleeveless, scuba knit, fitted sheath dress. Plus size Terrence Sky sells on Poshmark. Look, okay, well, my God, I have to think about it then. I just would rather not. You feel me? Like, they be having, like, Amazon Basics at the thrift store, and it's like, mm, I'd rather not. You feel me? This is another Zara dress. Long sleeve. What size is this? Zara small. Uh, that bin is kind of full. I'll send this in the flip. Uh, this is Attention. Attention is like Sears, Kmart. Not a brand to necessarily pick up. But I thought this print was really cute on this dress. It's a size medium. And this print is just really cute to me. So I picked it up. This is Ann Taylor size 16. I don't really care for this dress, but it's a good size. Uh, this is B or Faye, F E I, size 14. Cute little summer dress. And F E I is an older brand that was sold at Anthropology. Uh, this doesn't have a tag up here, it was cut out, but I looked up the RN number in the store and it's BCBG. And it is a cute little short sleeve, mock neck, like t-shirt dress. Oh yeah, that's not bad. 15 and 18. I'll have to keep an eye out for it then. Um, this is Eco, which is Urban Outfitters, size small. This can go to flip too. Eva Mendez, New York and Company, size zero. See, this is what I was talking about. It says like Eva Mendez for New York and Company. This is a jacquard sleeveless back cut out little mini dress. I'm gonna have to start a pile on the floor. This is Dress Barn, 12 Petite, sleeveless shift dress, blue and yellow. Um, this dress I'm about to show you guys. Is Yoana Barashi. I'm about to see if they're on the Real Reels list. Because I would like to send her in a decent box. Where are the wives at? Oh no, she's not on here. Okay, so Yoana Barashi. I think I saw one of her dresses for 30 before. This is the tag, though. And this is a size zero. Um, I got this for five bucks. And it's a knit short sleeve. Skater dress with an exposed zip back 
in a this is like a, a coral like it's not pink it, like a, an electric orange it's like a coral exposed zipper detail um I think I sold my other dress for 30 but yeah her de stuff definitely would pick up what is this what is this this is intro size small Sleeveless button up with a ruffle hem. I was going to get more tops, but my dad texted me while I was at the thrift store. And he was trying to, you know, meet up for Father's Day. Um, I was going to message him when I left the thrift store. But he messaged me, so I was like, all right, let me just leave now. Uh, this is H&M Conscious Collection, size 8. A little short sleeve printed. Yeah, that's a has a drop waist, drop waist dress. Damn, I didn't get a lot for flip. This is Venus size medium cap sleeve scuba knit fit and flare. Um, I believe this is vintage. Yeah, Papel Boutique, 100% polyester. It feels like so. Printed, short sleeve, shoulder padded, button up dress, and it has a nice thick belt of the same print. I just thought it was really cute. I found a decent amount of vintage. Okay, that's the third bag. Look at me zooming through 100 items. Oh, okay, I need to look at this. It's so heavy. <sighs> okay. Let me adjust the fan because it's hot as hell. Uh, I got a couple blazers. This is one of them. Philosophy pink open front blazer with this cute little bell sleeve. Size 4. This is Forever 21, new it tag, extra small, little jacket, drape front with a zipper. Oh, um, I think those are the only blazers I got. Yeah. Some more pants, J. Crew size 2. They're a brown and white seersucker striped cropped pant. These are Theory. I love a good Theory pant, and they were 80 cents. They're size 29. Navy blue. I love theory. I don't know why. It's just money, you know? Uh, this is really cute. I was thinking about trying this on, but I feel like it's just going to make me feel some type of way about my body. Uh... <laughs> You know, I try to avoid that. Uh, it's an extra large, but it's like a blue sleeveless dress with this cute little zipper. And I just think it's so cute. It reminds me of my childhood wearing like jersey dresses. Um, But I don't know. Maybe I should try it on. No, I need to sell it. I paid. They had it a while ago and I was going to pick it up when it was like eight bucks and I got it for like five which is better but I've been looking at her for a while because I low-key wanted her for myself um yeah I always pick up Venus Lindsay because it's I feel like it mm, you know what I be feeling like things do good for me let me actually look from through my sales while I'm talking shit Okay, Venus long sleeve top took 23 days to sell. To sell. Girl, what is that? To sell. Okay, that's the only sale I've, I've had so far. Shit. $18 profit, though. What else do I have in my inventory that's Venus? Oh, that long sleeve collar dress, but that's like, that's not, I wouldn't even count that, honestly. And the damn brand tag fell off. That's the only other item. So, okay, so so far, she honestly does have a good track record with me. 
And I think that dress will do, do good because I was going to send it into flip, but I think that'll sell in under a month. I'm trying to get my average sale rate right down too because it's up to last month it was at 40. No, last month for May it was at 50 days. June it was at 47 days. No, June, well, June, we're still going. So what the fuck am I talking about was at June right now is at 47 days. So I'm doing a little bit better than May because I feel like I've been listing like every other day that I list something, something from that batch will sell the same day. And one is definitely an outlier in my data, but it'll like drop my average pretty uh, quickly which just goes to show the more items I list, the quicker my average will go down. Uh, this is J. Crew size 14, a nice fit and flare dress, blue, this is not blue, green, extra large, really cute. I paid four bucks for it, which is up in my book, but I thought it was worth it. So, but yeah, I'm trying to get my average sales price down. Not average sales price. I need to get that up. My average, uh, time it takes me to sell something. My average sales price right now, my average payout is $18.23, which isn't bad because my average cost of goods is $1.29. So, you know, I'm a dollar to $25 seller through and through. This is J. Crew size large, cute little bell sleeve, purple top, and Klein size medium, yellow top, button down. Um, mm, yeah, I'll see if Flip wants that. Cause I got I got shit to list. Worthington size large. This is new with tags. That's why I got it. Cute little half sleeve, dolman sleeve, uh, like slinky top. Uh, this is the limited size small. And I'm low-key trying to stay away from the limited. It has no brand following. Nobody's checking for them. Their stuff's not that cute. Uh, but this actually was cute. It's a yellow v-neck top with this printed blue bottom. And then it has these big grommets. I love grommets and a tie detail at the sleeve, which I low key need to tie before the damn strings fall out. But this is actually a cute, the limited piece because I feel like, yeah, they have absolutely no brand following and nobody's checking for their stuff. So I'm trying to stay away from them, but that was cute. This is White House Black Market, a little medium sleeveless top with the illusion neckline and some ruching. Uh, this is London Times, nothing to write home about, but it is new with tags. New with tags TJ Maxx, and this is an old ass TJ Maxx tag. Because I'm pretty sure they do not. I mean, I'm lying because they do be having London Times still in there. But. That's the old STJ Max tag. Just a black, basic, cotton, sleeveless sheath dress. It'll get listed for $25. Actually, you know what? I wonder if um, Flip will take that. This is Antonio Milani, size 12. Really cute green lace dress. And it has this um, this part right here that tries to make it like it's a, a two-piece. This is Betsy Johnson Vintage. I was so happy to find this for 80 cents. This is Betsy Johnson New York. There goes the tag. And it is a size 6. It is this really cute blue... I'm like, is this, oh, and the straps are adjustable. I doubt this is silk, but I don't know. Her shit's expensive. Maybe it is. It doesn't feel like silk, though. It feels like polyester. 
It's acetate. Acetate, nylon, and spandex. And that's how you know if something's vintage. If it's made out of acetate, because companies do not do that anymore. I'm pretty sure if I remember from fashion school, right, uh, acetate is like banned to use in new clothing because it's just so like toxic because acetate is what they use in nail polish remover. That's literally damn near what nail polish remover is. Okay, here it goes. It's so cute. So cute. Little bow detail, little Betsy Johnson vintage and the little like seams pleated pleating. I don't know what you would actually call these because this is more like seams. This isn't pleating. If a pant had that in the front, I'd say it had a front of a front seam. My bad, my boyfriend texted me asking me a question. Uh, this is Calvin Klein. I've been sending my Calvin Klein into, except for that dress, because it's cute and I want dresses. I have a lot of tops for sale, though. If any of you guys honestly need clothes, whether you work in an office or something, and you need tops or dresses or something, like, put them in a bundle and send me a price. I have a lot. Like, a lot of tops. So, this is Calvin Klein Medium, and you guys see the type of stuff I pick up. It's good for, like, if you're a teacher, or work in an office, or work in a bank, or you're just more of a business casual girl, I really feel like um, I run a baby clothes miner. Yeah, I was thinking about that, if that was darting, because it's not boning, but yeah, yeah, I would call those darts. This is loft size medium. Just a blue button down top. It's really soft though. Again, it's all the same fabric. I couldn't tell if it was mixed media or not. Mixed media is just when it's two separate, two different fabrics. This is really cute. Um, I don't know if this is Vintage Express. There's no other tag. The tag is definitely old though. It's a really old Express tag. It's new with tags, though, and it's a 5'6". They don't even um, size their clothing like that anymore. Look how fucking cute this is. Uh, this cute little fucking floral skirt. It's so cute. Like like this with this shirt, you know? High-waisted, cute. That's so cute. I can't get over it. These are just black 29 petite. I know Flip takes these because I just sent in a pair of black just black jeans so, so they can have those because I'm honestly um, cramped for space. Told y'all. I need y'all to use. Um, yes, girl. I knew those were old. I need y'all to use my flip code so I could give me a new <laughs> inventory shelf. <laughs> so I'm struggling like this bin with this gold dress on it. You see how over, where's it at? You see how overflown it, over flooded that is? That is all stuff that does not fit in its bin. And then like this one already, like these bins on this shelf are not supposed to be like that. But I was trying to fit four bins on the shelf instead of three. This is Lauren Conrad size large. Um, the last flip plot I made, I had one of a Lauren Conrad top in it, Lauren Conrad's Coles. And it tried to act like it dinged it after the lot was already accepted. So we'll see if it lets this one go through. It's just the orange cold shoulder top. Uh, this is Zara Woman. This will go to flip. What is it? A size small. Like a teal top. This feels like silk. Man, y'all, why did I send something in the flip, though? And, oh, it's a popover top. I thought it was a full button down. Why did the post office really drop the ball? And they, oh, my God, the lady sent me the picture of the way the post office delivered the damn package. Crazy as hell. And then they lost four of my items. 
So she's gonna, and they sent her like a big ass letter, like said signed postmaster saying they were sorry for the inconvenience and how pretty much they accepted the guilt. Like they really dropped the ball delivering that package. But it's like, where's the compensation? That was priority mail up to $50. Like y'all lost four items. So I told her to go to the post office tomorrow with um, that thing and with her flip things, you know, because she only got three out of the seven items. And hopefully they give her the $50 and then shit, she can send me some, she can send me 25 <laughs> This is Zara though. There is no content tag, but that is going to go to flip. But yeah, I've never had the post office have something like that happen before ever. Like and that has nothing to do with flip. That's the post office. Um, but I've never, not on Poshmark, eBay, nothing. This is loft size 12, a little pink lace skirt with a black banded top. American Eagle size extra small. I've sold this dress twice for like 15 and 18 bucks. Uh, it's just a blue elastic waist polyester dress. That's going to go to flip. I got this. Thank you, uh, Sorenzo. I'm going to, I should tell her that. Well, she said she was going to go into the post office tomorrow, but I'll let her do that first and then we'll see. Uh, this is Fashion Nova size 3X. I was really happy to find this. And it is a red, like, going out dress. And then it has a cross back, but... Yeah, I very rarely find Fashion Nova in a plus size. I found that one, and then I found myself this one, which I need to try on. It is a 1X, new with tags, and it is the Shanghai Ruched dress. And I've been low-key. Um, yeah, maybe I should um, tell her that. I'm going to open up my thing so I don't forget. I've been wanting one of these, these ruched front dresses, because, you know, they hide your gut and all of that, and then it scrunches at the bottom, and I'm like, I, I go to Vegas on Monday, I'm going to be in Vegas Monday through Thursday, so uh, I could take that, I just thought that was so cute. And I'm waiting on, I ordered like four tops from Shein. And like a two-piece set, I'm waiting for that to come in the mail. And then I'm all set. I kind of want to go to TJ Maxx, though. I seen a $40 uh, Betsy Johnson weekender bag, a cute-ass carry-on bag. And I low-key want that so badly. Um, my carry-on right now is just a big blue Vera Bradley bag, and that's what I'm taking. I'm not paying for any luggage or any of that carry on for four days. That's good enough for me. Um, but my suitcase is a Betsy Johnson suitcase that I got from TJ Maxx. So I was like, I low key need this carry on bag and I might go back and get it. Uh, these are Levi's size 30 curvy boot cut jeans. This is Caribbean Joe size six plaid a lion skirt. This is so cute. Got a Lularoe Cassie skirt because it was new at tags. This is a 3X floral print. Loft size 10 Marissa quilted cropped straight leg pants. Look at all that texture. These are White House Black Market, size, I don't know. I think I'm going to partner, though, they're size 10. Uh, this one girl, though, because I like her store. It reminds me of my store. She prices her items similar, so I'm going to make a lot and see if she wants to partner again. Uh, these are some nice, like, cargo pants with the zips on the side. Cargo jeans with the double button. Those are nice. I paid up for these. I just thought they were cute and unique. Um, I paid like $240 for them. They're Dolan 
Left Coast Collection, which is sold at Anthropology sometimes. And they are green polka dotted wide leg pants. There's only one sold on Poshmark of 14 bucks. Um, but it's like, that's not a good estimator. This is a Scotta. Let me make sure that the real real still takes a Scotta because I will definitely send them in this skirt. These I don't even do the best with. The Scotta I found out in my skirts. I mean, skirts are just a harder sell. We all know that. But it's like, why not give it to the real real to sell instead of me sitting on it? How the fuck do they not take a Scotta? Are y'all fucking serious? Okay. It says a Scotta's not on their thing, but we'll see. Um, a Scotta size 36 skirt. I paid four bucks for it. And it's a pencil skirt. Nothing to write home about except that price tag. Periods Lorenzo, what brand bag was it? This or was it a Scotta? Was that the connection there? This is Ann Taylor size medium, a nice little like linen cotton v neck. Ooh, a bag for one eighty. That's a nice sale. This is American Eagle, like button down. That's gonna go to flip. And then this is Kimchi Blue, which is Urban Outfitters, size large, like little uh, cardigan. Oh, I love Brahmin bags. When I was working at Clothes Manor, every Brahmin bag we got, I pretty much bought. I had a blue one. I had a light blue Sunny. And then I had a dark brown Melbourne. And then I had this dark blue, like royal blue, nice ass little short top handle. Oh, thank you, Lindsay. I'm going to ask uh, Lauren, the lady I go through, if because some of the brands that, you know, aren't on their list, they still take. I'm just going to ask her. Like, there were a lot of brands that weren't on their list that she took, but like she pulled up. Um, what brand was it? Eli Tahari. They have some Eli Tahari on the website, but that's one brand they're being instructed not to accept right now. So she couldn't even take my stuff. Um, but she did take a lot of the other stuff that like wasn't on there. She was like, it comes up in the system for me so I can take it. Um, yes, I freaking miss my Brahmins. Those were my babies. I'm honestly selling. Um, if anybody is interested, I'll offer it up here first before I offer it up to the public. My MCM leather tote bag. Um, if somebody comes at me with a price, we can go back and forth. But it's the big one. And uh, I think I low-key need at least $350 for it. MCM. Cognac. Oh, my friend just texted me. DoorDash is down. I'm literally sitting here with somebody's food. They ordered $130 worth. I'm on hold with customer service. But who the fuck knows when they'll answer. I don't know what to do. Oh, my goodness. I told her to try restart her phone in the app because that is a dilemma. Okay, let me message Martine, Sorenzo, about what you said. I told my friend about the situation. And she said, you can go online and file a claim with the tracking number. Just post the picture of the letter damaged package and screenshots of what was. No, I'll just say just that. Just figured I would throw that out there if you wanted to give it a shot. Smiley face. Oh, okay, there goes that. I haven't sold shit on Flip yet, but um, through these are the lots I have through people. Not that many. Maybe um, 
That's 10, six, maybe, maybe like 50 items. Not that many. Um, I love MCM too, Amy. I want to sell my MCM though to get a tell for because you feel me. If you know, if you know the hype, you know the hype. I really want to tell for, um, tell for is black owned and so is uh, Brandon Blackwood, if I'm not mistaken, and I wanted to get one of their purses. MCM cognac leather tote. Okay, yeah. Somebody wants two fifty. Two okay, two fifty, two fifteen. Okay, but these are, like, different styles. These aren't, like, mine. Does anybody have any questions before I go? I'm just sitting here doing some research about my bag um, before I sell it. Ooh, that's cute as fuck. Look at that. Oh, my God. They better stop playing with me. I ain't got no money for it. Authentic MCM Vecetto's Cognac Tote Bag. $150 plus $40 shipping. What's what's the problem? Is it not real? Damn, that gold plate is faded. I can't even zoom up to count the leaves. Damn, that bag is cute. <sighs> okay. I love y'all. Hope y'all have a good um, rest of your Monday. I will see you guys. Next Monday, if I decide to do a ship with me or something like that, um, okay, quick poll. Would you prefer me to go live twice a week on YouTube or to do one live on YouTube and one live on Instagram? Um, follow me on Instagram if you don't already. That is at Shailene Sean. You feel me? Go follow a big dog. Um... My bad. I'm texting my friend back. YouTube twice a week. Okay. Because I could. Where's JoJo at? Ciro says Insta and YouTube. Um, maybe I'll put a poll. But see, when I be putting polls on my Instagram, people be voting. And I'm like, y'all, you don't even watch my live. Like, you know, so... I'm going I'm to see. We'll see. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a ship with me on Monday at four and then, you know, do a haul Tuesday or Wednesday, but we'll see. We shall see. But I love y'all. Have a good rest of your day. I'm ready to go sit down and talk to my man and make this hello fresh dinner. We're having chicken penne with lemon and... We got three more. We got firecracker meatballs, pork sauce, chili bowls, and an oven ready enchilada. Oh, cannot wait. See, Sarah, and I was out. I, I was thinking this is, you know, easy, but I mean, YouTube is easy too. I don't have to upload. Insta would just help me, I guess, get some more content on my Instagram. My Instagram is really dry. Um, but I love y'all. Have a good night. I'm tired. I've been talking for the last hour and eight minutes. Damn. See you next Monday. Bye. I love y'all.